Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Universal Math. In this video, I'll try to explain the solution of this problem. But before saying, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button. You know, so let's get started. We're given that the angle B is greater than the angle C. So we can write down this angle as beta. And beta is greater than alpha, I'll write down. Okay, here alpha, and uh, we know that this angle is 90 degrees, which means that beta is greater than 45 degrees, and alpha is less than 45 degrees. It will help at the end, and we'll write down the answer. So we can use here science theorem, and here sine alpha. Sine alpha will equal to here 3, or we can write down AC side as any letter like B. You can write down B. 3 over B and cosine alpha here will be equal to in a big, tri in a big triangle, it will be uh, B over 12. And uh, we know the formula sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha is equal to 1. And we can plug it here. Plug these two expressions here and we'll get uh, 9 over b squared plus b squared over 144 will be equal to 1. And we can multiply it by b squared times 144. And we will get here the first will be 9 times 144 plus uh, b fourth degree and to equal to b squared times 144. We can subtract from the both sides this expression and we'll get here b fourth degree minus b uh, 144 times times b squared plus 9 times 144 will be equal to 0. We can use here uh, discriminate will be equal to 144 squared minus 36 times 144 and uh, it seems at the first shot very difficult but it's not difficult. Believe me, here 144 squared minus here 36 is a square uh, square of 6 and 144 is a square of 12. So 12 times uh, 6 will give us 72. And this is all squared. And here it was like this. All is squared. And we got this. And we can write down uh, this as 144 minus 72 times 144 plus 72 and it will equal to here 72 times here it will be 216 and this will equal to here 216 is uh, 6 cubed and 72 is uh, 6 times 12, and we can write down it as 6 fourth degree times 12. And 12 we can also write down as uh, 4 times 3, it is 2 squared times 3. And here uh, we can write down this all this as 36 squared and um, 36 squared times 2 squared we can write down this as 72 squared 72 squared and 3 we can write down square root of 3 squared this will be square root of 3 all this squared and we can write down that b squared 1 2 will be the first and second will be 
144 plus minus 72 square root of 3. We'll write down it and over 2. Just accurate here. And it will equal to 72 plus minus 36 square root of 3. And we can write down B as square root of here 36 times 2 plus minus square root of 3. And here it will equal to 6 times 2 plus minus square root of 3. It will not be plus minus because the side cannot be a negative number. So we can plug instead of B here. Let me copy this. So now we can plug this instead of B here. And we'll get here that cosine alpha is equal to 6 times square root of 2 plus minus square root of 3 over 12. And we can cancel it and we can get here uh, square root of 2 plus minus square root of 3 over 4. It will be all this in a square root. I believe you understood this and cosine alpha here have to be um, square root of 1 plus minus square root of 3 over 2 we can write down over 2 i multiplied the both numerator and denominator by 1 over 2 and got this expression and we know that square root of 3 over 2 is here cosine 30 degrees plus minus cosine 30 degrees over 2 and uh, we know that this expression is equal to the cosine 15 degrees or cosine yeah it is equal to cosine 15 degrees or cosine 75 degrees why is it so i will just write down it to prove this, cosine 30 degrees, we can write down this as in a two ways. Cosine alpha will be equal, to, the first one will be equal to 1 plus, first of all, 1 plus 2 cosine squared 15 degrees, we can write down minus 1 over 2. Or the second one is you can write down cosine alpha as square root of 1 minus the second one is minus 1 plus here it was minus in a bracket but uh, I opened the brackets uh, steadily okay and plus 2 sine square 15 degrees or 2 Over to here, and we can cancel here in you know, both equations one and one, two and two. We can cancel, and in the first equation, we can get cosine 15 degrees. The square and the square root will be cancelled, and in the first equation, we can get the answer 15 degrees. We can write down. And in the second one, cosine alpha will be equal to sine 15 degrees, which means it is equal to the sine 15 degrees. It means cosine 75 degrees, I believe so. Yeah, I guess it's correct. And it means that alpha is equal to 75 degrees here. Most of the students mess up and they will forget this thing that alpha is less than 45 degrees which means they will have to get rid of the second 
answer and the first answer is correct i believe so and yeah this is the correct answer if you like this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel press the like button and you can find out uh, more geometry problems the solution for geometry problems in my channel see you soon in the next videos